Yep, tomorrow is the big day, the total solar eclipse. I mean, unfortunately, we won't see a total solar eclipse here, but 93.3% coverage is not bad. Beginning at 2.15, max eclipse at 3.30 in the afternoon, ending at 4.40. And you're going to want to see this one because the next one isn't happening for another 20 years. So a bit of a long time before the next one. So for the conditions for tomorrow, it'll be warm, 65 degrees. We'll have a sunny start to the morning, but once we get into the afternoon, we'll start to see a little bit of cloud cover make its way into our area. The good thing is it'll mostly be high clouds, so it shouldn't have a big obstruction on our view for the eclipse, but there are a few areas that could see more cloud cover than others. Now, taking a look outside right now, the good thing is the eclipse isn't happening right now because we wouldn't be able to see it. It's very cloudy out there right now and a little bit cool. 40 degrees in Springfield, 36 in Pittsfield, 43 over in Hartford. And it's breezy. Winds out of the north between 10 and 15 miles per hour. So it's making it feel much cooler. 32 degrees in Springfield is the feels like temperature. 32 in Worcester, same with Pittsfield and Keene as well. As we take a look at the next 24 hours, we'll see a mix of sun and clouds today. We'll get up into the lower 50s, and as we go throughout the night tonight, we'll stay fairly clear. So we'll drop into the mid to lower 30s. Waking up tomorrow morning, we'll see plenty of sunshine. It'll be cool temperatures in the lower 30s, and then 51 degrees by 10 o'clock. We're seeing a little bit of cloud cover out there right now on our satellite and radar. There's a big storm churning over into the Midwest right now over in Nebraska, and that's bringing some storms over there right now. But for us, we do have a high pressure system that's building into our area that's in the Ohio Valley right now that's going to move towards the east, and it's going to bring some clear conditions for us. Now, we can't rule out a sprinkle later this afternoon, but those chances are fairly low. Waking up tomorrow morning, we'll see plenty of sunshine. But then again, once we go into Monday afternoon, we'll see some higher clouds make their way into our area right around the time the eclipse is happening. Then as we go into Monday evening, those cl that cloud cover will increase as well. Now, the precipitation chances for the next couple of days are fairly low, especially Monday and Tuesday. But once we get to the middle of the week, we start to see a change in the pattern. And we'll see much more precipitation making its way into our area, especially Thursday going into Friday. Thursday is definitely looking like the rainiest of the days. But as we take a look at our daily high temperatures, not bad. Monday and Tuesday, mid to upper 60s, close to 70 on Tuesday. Average high is 54. Back to average on Wednesday and Thursday, but then back up to the 60s for Friday and 56 degrees by Saturday. Taking a look at the 10-day forecast, not bad. Increasing clouds for the eclipse on Monday. Tuesday, it'll be mild, close to 70, but then you're going to want to enjoy that for Tuesday because Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, it's looking a bit unsettled. But the good thing is by the weekend, we should start to clear out and temperatures are back to normal in the mid-50s. Wesley, back to you. Hunter, thanks.